Hi guys, just one of his back to me change to make the series. In the last mission, we did Sunday Madness when we drove a high speed train into the city. Um, that was on the West Coast main line, so I'm going to do another hard mission on another routine. Right, so. Let's see. There's always lost in the shuffle. I'll do that one later. I've decided the next mission. Let's say I've come back to the uh, East Coast main line, so since I've not been on it for some time. Right, the mission I'm going to do is uh, the long haul. It takes two hours, so there's a chance I might split this into uh, two parts. Oh, that's it, right here. Alright, good day. We've got a charging duty set up for you here. You'll be hopping freight between yards along the line. Your first stop is to tie yards to get fueled up and head there. So the first order of business is that we've got to get ourselves refueled. Otherwise, um, we'll be going nowhere whatsoever. You know, I'm going to switch to uh, that track so we can uh, have a rough idea where we're going. Because if we go in the other direction now, we'll just bash into those buffers right behind us. Alright, so the, uh, the filling station's just on the sort of track to the left. And so look at our fuel gauge, it's absolutely right down to the bottom. And uh, once you refuel, you'll go through uh, the gate's heart. Yeah, yeah. Gate's head. Uh, gate 1. And uh, once we do that, we've got to go to the uh, opposite side of the time yard gate. So it means having to go all the way to uh, this point of the map here to reverse some points. Where that means you're uh, off course and the game will end in a uh, bizarre fashion. Almost like, uh, almost ace combat like when you uh, get really like going off the map and saying that you're off course and you have to uh, go back otherwise you'll fail your mission. Obviously we can't allow something like that to happen. Right, so I'm going to stop the train and then turn around and go back to the refueling point. As you can see, uh, this here has this is just a, a minor side as well. Okay, the weather's really bad. It's actually snowing right now, which means the track's going to be uh, slippery as hell. Oops. Hang on. Is that the buffer's right? Right. I'm going to zoom in so I can uh, see where. There you go. So now the track is um, pointing. Ah, didn't even see that. So the track is uh, pointing towards the uh, gatehead side and refueling bit. <laughs> so it goes to the refueling stop. Obviously, if we if we set out now with the fuel that we've got, we'll just run dry. The task will be failed miserably. So I'm going to coast it there, so I don't overshoot it. Obviously hurrying will uh, use up more fuel as well. It'll probably uh, explode the radiator as well. If, it over if the radiator overheats, we're pretty much fucked. And uh, that's not happened in this game just yet. I'm 
gonna slow down and have that. slow down quite a lot actually. We don't want to overshoot that. Once you um, get to your fueling point, you gotta press the T button to, re to, to refuel this is a bad boy. And obviously, we can't really see it being refueled the way we can. Because it's, uh, well, it's just a game, really. In real life, there'll be a lot of difference. Right, so once we uh, come out of the yard. I'm going to go to the gate pad. Right, I'm going to go back to Santa Playa. Before the air refueling is done. Now we'll go back as far as here. Oh, uh -huh. Sounds like a uh, bloody wrestling ring bell. <laughs> Alright, we'll go back and move on. Once we uh, go to the side and here the points, we got to switch the air tracks and find the one that goes towards the main line. It's going to take us a while to get there, so I'll come back to this just shortly. Alright, we've just come up to gate head, um, gate li line one, and further on down the track, there's actually a reverse point. If you stay in that reverse point long enough, the uh, game will end on ya. So, but I uh, tried this mission out earlier and I'm actually uh, quick enough, I was actually quick enough to uh, avoid that from happening. Uh, once you, um, sorry, once you uh, pass through Gatehead and then uh, turn around, you'll be heading towards, where are we? Tanyard Gate 4. But for now, we'll just uh, go back up to, uh, Gate head one, and there's a reverse point right there. Once you get to the reverse point, you uh, gotta turn around straight away. Right, the last time I have to use this air diesel, if you remember, was the second mission of the uh, East Coast Main Line, the uh, calls to Newcastle, which we took a long hopper of air calls all the way to Newcastle. I only just remember that myself. And the uh, other mission that I was planning to do was Paul Madby Hop of the West Coast Main Line. And that was really complicated for me. I, was, I couldn't figure out whether to go in front or in the back of the parked locomotive that I was meant to pick up. So I've decided I'm going to do that one off screen now. Uh, another mission that I was about to do was lost in the shuffle, but I'll do that one later. And when I figure out the uh, entire mission of uh, Paul Mental Health, I'll think of that. I'll do it again, but only this time I'll record it. Right, another mission I was thinking of doing was the uh, lost in the shuffle mission, which I looked at earlier. Obviously that one's more of a time limit from the looks of it. So I'm up for something like that. And I will be looking at other lines as well. I have not done the uh, London to Brighton or the Isle of Wight for a long time. Uh, I think I'm doing the Mariah's Pass, the Kion Pass, the Donna Pass. 
and uh, thinking of adding another route as well. I've uh, not forgotten the set of Carlisle and I'm thinking of doing the mission on that as well. So we'll wait and see what happens after I do this mission. Right, so... Just as soon as I know that I'm clear of the points, I'll um, stop the train and turn around quickly. I'm going to stick it in reverse, I'm going to do uh, what I usually do. Uh, switch cabs when uh, I stop the working motor altogether. Oh, I'm at the point now. I'll uh, slow the train down as soon as we pass the first point. And the reason why there's a reverse point there on the map is because that's as far as the roof actually goes. So you can't go any further and you can't really uh, see what's beyond the line. So I'm prepared to uh I'll just to make sure I'm clear the points first. There you go, as you see at the top corner we have a best point approaching. And there we go. Staying that long enough, so we're uh, losing the shot together. Right, luckily for us, the uh, point is actually already set for the line we need to go. Once we approach uh, Town Yard Gate, we've got to buffer up to uh, trucks here and here before setting out for the Town Yard Gate. So I'll come back here as soon as we uh, come back. Actually, put me a uh, button down so hard that I actually um, stuck it all up. Quite an idiot. Right, so I'll come back to you as soon as we approach the uh, time, time yard gate. Right, uh, when you pass through a uh, time yard gate line 4, you gotta make sure you're trained to the right side. And before you buffer up to these trucks right here, right, these are the only trucks in the yard, really. So obviously, uh, easy to find. So you gotta make sure on the right side. And there you go. Uh, first things first, you've got a couple up to this lot, uh, to these hoppers right here. Before you couple up to this lot uh, at the back. So here we are, just about to uh, pass through, um, about to pass the, to the hoppers. First I'm going to um, go further down the line, just to make sure the buffers are set to where I'm coming from. I uh, think it's this line, because if I uh, get it wrong, I'll uh, obviously derail and uh, die a horrible death. At least I think I'll die a horrible death. Because uh, it's still a possibility that the uh, locomotive will derail, stay upright, and I get myself injured. I mean, it's—I'm not sure if it's possible, but I'm not willing to try that in real life. As you see, Tan Yard Gate Line Two is uh, further on down, but we won't be going up that way just yet. Uh, the last time I tried to do this earlier. I uh, covered up. I coupled up to the uh, first load of hoppers successfully, but I uh, went back for the second load of hoppers, and that didn't end well. Apparently, I uh, buffered up to them too hard, and as a result, the uh, 
whole thing ended in a calamitous fashion. So what I'm going to do is uh, set the points to the tracks that I want. First I'm going to stop this train and switch cabs. But I'm going to take it slowly so I don't hit them too hard and cause a freak accident. Like I did uh, in the previous attempt. I just see I have a uh, shot by miles. Uh, it's the same kind of thing I did when I uh, did one of the missions off screen in Tanyard Gate. Again, that was a uh, medium mission. Only it was a lot different, uh, that one. It was done off screen, it won't be done on screen a second time. So uh, I'm going to split this mission into two parts, I'm actually going to uh, stop somewhere, save it and continue the rest uh, the following day. Right, so I'm not sure what I'll be uh, doing on Sunday. Well, it's Saturday night when I'm recording it right now. I don't know what I'll be doing on Sunday. If I've got the time, I'll uh, finish it off. Because it's about to get a lot harder. I mean, this is only the start of it. Uh, I got drop off shit. I think it's it. I think it's it, right? Alright. Right, the epic fail. Right, so, gonna stop and turn around. I'm pretty sure, I thought I set the uh, points just right. Ah, oh, turned out I didn't really uh, set the points back. Yeah, sorry about that. Right, let's try it again. Yeah. I was uh, so busy uh, concentrating on the task at hand, I uh, forgot to set the points back. Uh, I can't set the points back now, otherwise the uh, train will derail. I mean, I tried that during the uh, whole Maddie Hot mission, and because the points were set against me, the my locomotive derailed. Oops. There you go. Better zoom in in case uh, I got too far Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna wait until the air uh, is actually clear. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a bit just to get more uh, uh, just to get a better clear view. Yeah. Go back to Santa Fly because every time I uh, don't want to do map and go straight to the uh, next position at hand. Here we go. Wait for our uh, train to stop and oops. wait for our uh, locomotive to stop. And then we switch cabs like we did last time and we can back onto our train safely. Got the uh, point set right this time. I'm just gonna look again just to make sure. In fact, I'm gonna uh, go back here. I'm gonna have to set these points as well. Tiny R26, what we were looking for. A bit of a new bearer on my behalf. Because I had done this mission off screen only for it to fail miserably. And yeah, just so I make sure it doesn't fail the second time, I'm gonna slow down and tap there. Yeah, 
get a much clearer view on this end, but when I uh, cut off this lock, I uh, got to switch to the rear end camera so I can uh, get a much clearer view because I can't see out the back of this cab when I uh, when I've got when I've got the shots buckled up. Yeah, first slow down because yeah, definitely give his dead hair. I don't know. Yeah, it's made it a lot. What's made things this mission a lot harder is that you can't actually see. Out of the uh, on the end. Yeah. I don't think we're actually covered on. I oh, don't know. No. My mistake. Uh, it's just that the last time I actually, um, I actually proper buffered up to them. Up to them. Right, so we turn around and go back away from okay. Only this time we're going to uh, go back. Yeah. And a couple of the trucks on there, that side. Whoops. Right. As you see, I've uh, already put my throttle down. So I can get extra speed. As you can see, I've now uh, got a train load of uh, what appears to be... Uh, they look like one of those uh, cement uh, tankers where you put wet fly into them to uh, keep them out of the rain, keep them dry. Uh, so that's what they are. Right, so I'm gonna wait until we clear up enough of the points before we slow down. Just to uh, switch the uh, tracks back to uh, with the way they came. Nice. So, this is the more complicated part. Look like I've uh, switched the points back, so I'm not going back to the side I came from. It's Tan Yard Line Siding 27 that we're looking for. So, so we need, yeah, here we are. Gonna take our time with this one. This is one side of the train. If we're just about to get moving. Hey guys, just get a bit more uh, pace into us. I'm gonna slowly move back a bit. I'm actually gonna take things slowly. So we don't cause a freak accident like we did last time. Yeah. 
so I'm sure we'll try and get this thing up to speed. Only going to be a five miles an hour, but that's actually a safe, the safe speed I want for the time being. Just imagine how many trucks I'll have by the time I come out of the come out of the yard. I mean, it's not like in the uh, United States where you. Uh, have about 50, 80 odd trucks or so. Mm So this thing down. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Sound like sound like a break to go. Just that. Too hot at the same time, but I'll just shoot the target. Yeah, I should get, should have got a little touch on to so I do all this work. Pretty sure that's coupled. Not very coupled, is it? I'm gonna have it on people's hands once I am have them buffered up. I'll uh, be able to set off. Nice. Right. Take these over to Ferry Hill, the quarry. There has another shipment to send up, but not enough wagons. Now he tells me. Alright, whatever you say. It's time to head. Alright, we've got to go up to a uh, town yard gate. Which is obviously at the end of the line. Then i got to go all the way up to Ferry Hill. Then. Drop or, or, um, that hopper load I just got. I got to drop them off in the side and right here. So uh, going past the uh, town yard gate two and uh, ferry gate uh, line four. Sorry, ferry hill gate line three. I'll have I have no problem with, but this is only. This is, look at the list. Just look at that list. 16 all together and just when I have to drop the lot off here I gotta go back up through Darlington then the southern part of the junction and then there's more trucks down here right here so I'll put a couple all out for the back of my train and then take and that, and that stuff that I just picked up I gotta drop it back off all the way through here and then drop the rest of it off right here so nevertheless 
we got to do all that. So I'll, I think I'll just um, go as far as uh, Ferry Hill and leave it there. Right, let's have a look at um, my train now. I'm actually going to put the sand on, so... Um, I, I could really do with using the sand right now. I'm actually gonna, in fact, if that's how, if that's how they want to play, I'm actually gonna put my throttle right down. I mean, just look. I mean, that train is, isn't really that long, but I um, could do with the sanding gear working. So in that way, I could um, have more grip on the icy rails down below. Uh, that's what makes this mission a lot harder. I mean, you've got heavy train loads, and at the same time, you've got snow coming down. The uh, rails are slippery. And there's absolutely nothing I can do to uh, get the sander on. I am going to give you a side shot of this train. I'll come back to you when I uh, get to Ferry Hill Gate. I don't think we'll uh, get a side shot of the entire train going through. But it'll waste the time counting, uh, trying to count all the trucks I got. Just, um, we're just about to approach uh, Town Yard Gate Line 2 anyway, if we're able to put our feet down. If you get this, um, try and stretch this thing's wheels if we can to a uh, 40. I mean, we can't do 75, not in this weather and not with the load that we got. It'll you know, uh, probably cause a freak accident, and I'm not even sure if there are um, other trains right in front of me or behind me. I mean, we only passed one so far, and that too was a, uh, a good load. Alright, I'm going to switch back to the cab uh, view in just a moment. Convention or something like that. It really would have helped out. With the uh, extra leverage at the back. I'll just come back to this when we uh, get to uh, Ferry Hill Gate.
Ah, uh, so here we are now. We're approaching Ferry Hill Gate Line Three. Uh, after we continue recording today, uh, it's now Tuesday, and I'm not walking back from work, and so I've got all the time in the world to record the rest of this episode now. I uh, originally started about Saturday, Sunday, and I was re going to continue yesterday, but the other friend invited me out, and I ended up taking her out, so I thought, come on from work, I'm not going to drama performance tonight, and we'll be uh, continuing the rest of this episode. Yeah, so we're just picking up where we left off now, uh, going into very Hillgate Line 3. Our uh, next objective after that is going into Ferry Hill side in 4. As you see, we've been switching tracks. Uh, that train has been waiting there for some time. And obviously, we have had to wait until we passed. Now, we've, uh, we've uh, been through uh, 65s, 85s, back and forth. I, I tried to get this train up to 85 miles an hour, but then it got no further than about. 80 ish. Uh, at one point, we were on the uh, 125 miles per hour line as well, but we couldn't go as far as that either. Right, so we just gotta slow down to 25. Yeah, this is all I've been getting every time I've been uh, doing every other instruction. Well done, proceed to your next objective. Not that other yippy do that. Get the same thing every time. Okay, I uh, originally recorded this a few seconds ago. Uh, I made the mistake of not manually setting the points, so I needed to go to my uh, destination. I was actually diverted into the side no here. I thought, why do I need to go? Is this where I need to go? Then I realised it, ma it was manual points and I was sent them on the wrong direction. Right, so, after, um, yeah, we're going to go to, uh, you know, see if we can get ourselves out of here. Uh, it's back on the uh, main line. So we can get back on the main line from here. I'm going to set the uh, points just so we can get back to the main line. There we go. I think that should be alright. Right, the reason why we're heading to Ferry Hill side is because I need to uh, drop the trucks off. That, oh shit, that's leading to a dead end. Oopsie. Yeah, that's uh, miles better. That's exactly where we need to go. Again, we need to drop off those uh, those uh, empty coal hoppers. Uh, I mean, I saved the mission earlier in case something went wrong, like uh, we derailed the train or went down the wrong side and again, like a freaking tart. Now it says here, you've got to drop off trucks from 350-856 to 350-235. So let's have a look at our, um, so there's 350-235 to, okay, 8. Okay, it's 856 we want. 8 5 There it is. Ah, shit. Let's see Oh, 
Alright, uh, so let's train down because we're not only approaching our, our target, we're also approaching the signal as well. I'm not sure if it's spread or not, but. We need to head there anyway. I'm going to keep uh, telling about the control pad for the throttle until um, we get the 25 and uh, back to north again. We got help. Where's the uh, rest of the train now? It's only just past that signal box. So we're just going to have to coast to the end of the side, most likely. It's a good thing I, I was forced to manually set the points, so... I didn't go into the uh, end of the side and crash straight through the buffers because they're mostly used for uh, runaway trains or trains who um, have a problem. I'm just gonna slow it down all the way now. Okay, that signal is definitely for us. So... Yeah. Bring this train to a stop now. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's go to the back and work our way across. Here we are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. that we've done that right that's the quarry sorted let's get moving head down to Darlington for the next stop so our train has now been shortened whoops wrong camera okay that's as far as our um, train is now so we'll be saying goodbye to our quarry trucks and but we're still we've still got our um geez that didn't sound pretty we still got our uh, cement trucks, but our next uh, objective is now to go to Darlington South Gate 3. Once we get there, we've got to stop at Sign 11. Sorry, Sign 1. Jesus Christ, I swear I'm still asleep. So I'm just going to make sure that the uh, points over here are secure. But we don't need to worry about that just yet. There you go, dying to the south gate 3. Uh, the points will automatically be set for us, surely. Side 3. So we, for some reason, got to stop at side and 1. And then couple up this lot to the back of our train. But either way, we got Let's just concentrate on going through to Darlington with the uh, the now limited uh, train that excuse me so the limited train that we've got. All right, I'm gonna save it now in case uh, something else goes wrong, like uh, I, I cock up again. I, I'm just wondering why we gotta stop at side one when we can just go to side three and stop there. Yeah, maybe we've got to wait for another train to uh, pass through. Oh, it's taking me uh, over an hour to get this uh, episode sorted. I'm going to slow the train down now so we don't go over speed. 
but we'll be blasting up to 85 as soon as we uh, leave the sidings. So, so, uh, so here's where we are now. And there's our next destination. Some 11 point. 11.6 miles still to go until we get there. So I'll come back to this then. Alright, so after all that, we found ourselves approaching Darlington South Gate Line 3. But the uh, points already show that we're heading to where we need to go. Hopefully, we go to Darlington South. Junction side in one. But we need to stop there, not go into it. So we're going to um, head our way, make our way up there. And then just stop where we need to go. Just stop at our destination. Okay, I had a bit of complication, trouble with this uh, junction that we're about to cross, because it actually crosses over. Let's take care of that. Are we definitely heading towards? Yeah, definitely. Right, once we stop here, we go wait on the news. But once we um, stop here, we get moving again. We've got a couple of these trucks right here on the side right next to us. So we're limited to 25 on the sidings. But I'm actually about. I'm going to put this thing down to see about. So we can. Uh, so our train slows to a stop. See the uh, signal. Uh, the dwarf signal. But yeah, you only have to start with one of them because you really, really can't see. Oh. You can't even tell if it's uh, red, amber, or even green for that matter. So I'm just going to toggle about with controllers. Until we uh, get to the dwarf signal and stop. I mean, we have to do this in the uh, Mirage Pass mission over the top. And that wasn't really an easy task, as you already know, in case you uh, saw the episode. We uh, have to stop 
not only at a dwarf signal, but we have to stop on a steep climb, which made it more harder. I'm not going to stop the train now, actually. Get more clear of you from this angle. Unfortunately, for yourself. Thanks to the uh, bad weather, we just can't. We just don't get a clear view. Yeah, the natural change on the side. Forty five miles. Now to find out why we have to stop here. We can get ourselves prepared to uh, couple of these trucks back here. So what we're going to do is go past the bot, go past the points, stop, and reverse back into this lot. Good work so far. You've been asked to consist of vans to our train that need to be hauled down to Darlington along the rest of our cargo. That should be them in the side nearby. It is in the side nearby. We're going to look at the uh, points just once more to make sure that we're in the uh, right, that we're going in the right spot. You see, if I continued with those points set against me, the train would have derailed. Or in a comedic fashion, and that obviously can't do. Right, so what I'm going to do is go back to the uh, end of the train and uh, turn the uh, camera around so we can uh, get a clear view of when we're reversing. Well, actually, when uh, we're actually going to get a clear view of when they're past the points, and then we're going to have a much clearer view. when we go back. Oh, could, could have been that. It would have been a lot easier if they were on the second side, not the third one. But I'm going to have to go really steady because I actually don't want to overshoot it. I don't want to um, go back too quickly. Otherwise I'll just run all the, all the trucks. Uh, up, and, uh, up and over completely. Yeah. You gotta make sure the line is blue when you're uh, moving along, otherwise, if it wasn't, that means the uh, line uh, has been uh, cut off and you'll just uh, come off worse. Go back to where the uh, points so we're clear of the points. Then we'll go back in the car, switch round, and go forwards, but we're actually going backwards. It, make, it makes it look like we're going forwards, but we're actually going backwards into the uh, into the badge right behind us. So those fans are likely to be carrying something valuable like. Uh, yeah, boxes of fish, yeah, other whatever's in there. Do some valuable, but I don't have. Right, I'm gonna come to a standstill now. I'm gonna try and get this thing close to a standstill. And then I'm gonna go back and set the points here. So now we're definitely on the right side there. Alright, now that our train is stopped, we're going to switch tabs uh, to draw forward. Oh, I have to go back. I'm 
I'm gonna chop this one more time. Yeah. But you may notice there's a reserve there to point there too. So at the very moment we uh hang on. I'm gonna stop the train for a moment because we've got a baby off there. That. Of all things, wheel slip. Oh, there you go. Well, um, continue from um, coast and back now. But I don't want to go too far, too quickly back. Otherwise, the train would derail all of it. It not just uh, this part. And. If I go to back too quickly, well, how would you mention that? Go back too quickly, the whole thing will derail. Or right, well, I'll uh, just uh, go across the points too quickly, and the whole thing will derail just like that. The very moment we uh, couple up to these bands, we're going to stop. I'm going to switch tab once more, and we'll get set off to where we need to go. Uh, this mission is giving me no rest whatsoever, and that this is just half half of it. By the way, uh, it's a good thing that we didn't have to uh, take the hoppers with us, otherwise we would have had to take a ridiculously long train. Actually, that is. I don't think I have to get too quick. Alright, but the fact is that the icy rails doesn't help. We'll just because we'll just be skating along and uh, making things a lot worse. Okay, the last thing I want is a glitch accident to happen. Okay. All ready to go, let's get down to the other before we lose our path to the main line. Right. Right, we're already at our reverse point. If I get down. Right, where to? Apart from the line on the side of gate one. I just want to get back to the main line quickly. Here we are. This is what we want. Down the wrong path. There you go. Now we're heading towards the right direction, otherwise, that would have just, uh, we were just going down the side and there's nowhere to go. Going. But if we don't get going now, we'll lose our path to the main line. And the mission will end in a, a disaster. Because a faster train will be approaching. And they'll just run to the back of us. Or we'll have to wait for them to go, to go past us. Right, so it's going to be another 42 or so miles. Look at that, all that way, man, until we get there. So I'll just come back to you just when we get there. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry to uh, come back so quickly. Uh, we were just coasting along. It was actually, we were blasting all along that. Uh, 125 miles an hour line that we're currently on, but now we're coming up to a, a red signal apparently because I just there uh, checked at the map further ahead, and there's the 
the line that we had before, so we're going to have to stop the train until further notice. It, it, it sounded really, we were just, I was trying to get this train at 125 and then all we saw were just plain yellow, double yellows, then a, a single yellow signal and that means we're obviously coming up to a red signal, so it's obviously that the train further up ahead on our line earlier hasn't cleared it yet and uh, I tried sorry I did a, a mission called Delta Diversion some time ago and it, in the same case scenario happened here the train hadn't cleared its tracks in the next minute we passed through a red signal and smashed into it only uh, this time we're actually I'm actually slowing this train down now and uh, bring it to a standstill. So we uh, don't end up trailing into the back of this one. But well, at least we haven't missed our path on, on this track whatsoever. Yeah, let's see the uh, light actually on that. So, uh, gotta get this uh, train down to a nice, uh, slow speed. It would have helped if these, uh, these signal bars here are accurate. I'm still going to zoom in back out again. So we go just uh, bring it to a stop. So uh, when this train stops at the signal, I'm actually going to try and find out what's uh, causing all of this. Uh, this is going to cost me valuable time, but obviously safety first. Obviously safety comes first, rather than our admission. Uh, here you go. Arrival siding gate one is our next destination. And we've still got 21 miles to get there. I bet another train's broken down somewhere. Watch this by the time I uh, get back to uh, find out what's causing all this, that signal will turn to yellow. But at least we get a clear view from back here. And now we play the waiting game. Alright, center player. Let's just look further up. Uh, it's green up ahead. So I'm assuming a passenger train is just not long clear through here.
while Austin was on grads. So why are we forced to stop here? By the way, I'll just come back to you when I want to see my fans. Okay, so against my will, I've uh, passed the uh, signal at that because I've uh, checked the entire map up ahead and uh, some of the signals are actually on green after the red one, so I'm not entirely sure what the uh, whole bus is about because I'm so interested in that, I've got so much real sweat. There you go. Go back to centre player. Just for a second. There you go. I'm going to try and get the air thing slowly back up to speed. There you go. Centre player. As you see, I've just come up to a. Uh, this station, there's nothing there. And then uh, up to the next red signal, there's nothing there. So, the next uh, signal after that is green. So, maybe it was either a signal fault or it's just uh, or something delayed, I don't know. But I have lost valuable time just waiting for the signal to change and I realised it wasn't changing so and I look up at the map up ahead trying to figure out what was going on uh, with some of the signals further down the line in green and I'm assuming that those uh, signals were left on red by mistake so I have a faint idea why that signal was on bad. So uh, I've even checked the, the map up ahead and there's actually no train to block on my path. So we're just going to keep going regardless. But I have saved in case something goes, does go wrong. Right, so here we are now. Just finally coming up to the uh, end of the mission now. First things first, we're going to pass through the arrival siding gate. Then we're going to be at the uh, up arrival side and drop this load off. Yeah. So pretty much going down the same line anyway. So don't have to worry about. So, yeah, this is like, it took me a couple of days to record this mission, um, but again, I have to split it into a couple of parts before holding it down to one video. And it was frustrating, really. We were on the track that goes uh, 125, but we can uh, blast it up to that speed. So, I'm currently stuck to 75 for the time being. Until we, uh, get, until we get there, we have to drop to 30 and then 15 after that. But we'll be uh, stopping to drop uh, our load off. Yeah. Drop off. It's from 755-911 to 
go. That's the train down. There you go. I just found it now. So we'll come back to that uh, camera in just a moment. There. Uh, just need to slow it down to 30 now. Point trying to get down to 30 because we'll be happy we'll to get down to 15 in a moment anyway. So just wait till we get there first, and then we'll stop there, and then uh, drop our load off. Just to make sure our tire train makes it there, I'm going to turn the camera out. It looks like a complicated mess when you're um, when you're weaving down one track and then suddenly switching over to the next. I'm gonna zoom in to a tad bit. I gotta go to the next uh, side and after that. So I think this is where we're dropping the bands off.
this one we're looking at. So at least the uh, doubling camera is actually uh, not hasn't changed the tag there. Right, so Right, once you stop at the side, we'll just all wait for instructions now. Watch this, we'll be given. Very much, now that we've stopped here, we'll be given the instructions to uh, uncouple all of our bands. Just gotta wait for this red bar to pass first. so early. Right, so here's where the current end of the train is right now. Yeah, good run, well done. Now these vans don't have a destination yet so we need to drop in here. Once complete we'll hop over to the main York yard and be done with the rest of our train. Right, so once we're done with this lock, well done, proceed to your next objective. So here's, so the rest of our train is now back to the end of the uh, cement wagons. And uh, your siding 22 is not really that far. There you go, show task. Uh, that's just right there. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not the right line. Not the right line again. There you are. Yeah, so if I didn't switch those points properly, uh, it would have been a disaster. So, so I need to make sure that's actually your 22. Yeah, definitely. Well, what would, what would help though is if uh, that task list wasn't there and we can actually see where we're going. So what we have to do is stop there, and then unload the rest of our train. So I said, first wrong, yeah. cargo wagon eight seven three six five six to eight seven three five one zero. So there's. Seven to eight, six five six. Yeah, so it's pretty much the rest of the entire train, really. Whoops. Pretty much the rest of this entire train, really. So I'm just going to coast it there. All right, what I'm going to do is save it just in case something goes wrong. Like my train derails, but uh, that's not going to happen because the uh, points are switched to the right track, so I won't have any problems uh, cocking up. 
you know, the CI definition to a asterisk red signal. Because as far as I'm concerned, there's uh, actually no change beyond, yeah, so uh, switch to green anyway. But I uh, just switched, I asked her for approval just to make sure. It's what I had to do when I was uh, cut off with that red signal, I uh, stayed at red for ages. Turned out there was nothing wrong. Shit, don't know the speed of it. There was actually nothing wrong there. There no trains uh, uh, passed ahead of me uh, whatsoever. So technically I was just waiting there for absolutely nothing. Right, it said uh, you can go up to 30 here, but I'm just, because it's going back to 15 here, I'm actually going to stay at 15. Again, we're going to stop at York side in 22, and then we're going to drop off the rest of our load. I, I can't see why we just just get go there, and just drop off our load. Let's take the screen straight to our that. So it's been a pretty long uh, mission, a long time, a long journey from start from beginning to end. Having to uh, pick up uh, loads of trucks and then have to drop off a few. I'm actually wondering if uh, I'm actually wondering if those um, cargo wagons are still at Ferry Hill Side. And, yeah, they're still there. No one's uh, been able to pick them up yet. So, I'm actually going to get a side shot of uh, what the last, well, what's the rest of my train anyway, uh, going into the side, really, even though it's only at a lowly 15 miles an hour. But that's the uh, restricted speed when you're going on the side because you don't want to overshoot. Uh, Overshoot your load. Don't want to bash into it. You don't want to cause a freak accident in the yard. I'm not sure that's actually happened in real life, but most accidents uh, in the past usually occurred on the main line. Uh, and this diesel right here just about made it. I'll pick up the pace a bit. Lighter came on.
all the rest of the way. Like. Oh, looks like I'm still up there. I've not even made it yet. Yeah, I never thought I'd um, never thought it'd take this long to get there. I mean, I'm still only uh, 0 0.08 miles to get there, but I want to make sure my uh, entire train's there, actually in the side, uh, because if I leave it dang out at the points just over here, another train will want to go into York side in 23 and to have a little accident. Obviously the pink slip will away straight after. That I can't allow. And again, just like before, I'm going to switch to the uh, rear view camera. Until, uh, until I uh, actually know 100% that the uh, train's in the side. I'm just going to wait till I get there. Obviously we can't really uh, stop here so we can turn it and watch the uh, walk on the track. Hang on a second. Two big on this. Oh, 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 there is an exit. It's off the side. As I was gonna say, um, if I'm gonna drop these trucks off here, how am I gonna get out? And I just noticed there's a, a point to switch track back to a uh, side of 21.
Yeah. So now that we finally stopped the sign, we'll just have to wait until we have to on top of it. On top of it. Yeah. On top of this lot. And then that's it then. Mission accomplished. Now, I didn't think it would take this long to do the whole epic thing, but got there in the end. That's all that matters. Okay, let's get these stuff by right. Well done. You live with all the freight with the time to spare. We'll be signing you up for the hopper regularly, I think. So there you go. Completed stop three out of three. Had removed some 69 rail vehicles in total. And we fueled one time as well. Yeah, so. There you go. So I think it's to say. I think it's easy to say now that uh, I've done all the missions in uh, the East Coast, mate, and mine. I mean, there's two extra ones down here. Doesn't tell you what locomotive I'm driving. There you go. Drive the HST. Buffer set from York to Darlington. It's snowing, so expect surprises along the way. Uh, you've got the gr the Grand Central, the HST uh, buffers from York to North Alton. Right, so uh, I think I'll focus more on the. Oh, I've still got two uh, hard missions to do in the Great Western Main Line, which I mean they're going to do autumn leaves or lost in the shuffle. And uh, there's that one on the, uh, what was it? The uh, West Coast Main Line, northbound. I could do uh, either bank on it or. Actually, I can't drive here, uh, Fast 86. I mean, I've already done the uh, Sunday Bank on so I could do one of the uh, medium missions, either Paul Maggie Hawk or Baltimore Sand. Or maybe King Moss Sunset. Or I could uh, go on to the Somerset Dorset, either do uh, Day of Two Hearts or Delivery Day. Or set off to Carlisle, which I could do uh, either Settle Down, Uphill Struggle or the Taking Stock. I mean, I'd probably, I'd probably do Taking Stock, but um, you never know. I, I could do any mission I like to keep the sales going, but. There's a chance I might add a new route as well. <laughs> Just a matter of time which one I want to do. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys updated with every save later this week.